Hello, Jira Software provides a range of reports that offer valuable insight and information about your projects, people, and issues. In this video, we'll examine the Jira Software Velocity Chart. The Velocity Chart shows the amount of work estimated versus the actual amount of work completed in recent sprints. This enables you to use past performance to help predict future performance and to identify and address trends in team commitment and delivery. The velocity chart is useful in your sprint planning meetings to help you decide how much work you can feasibly commit to. The velocity chart displays up to seven of your most recently completed sprints. For each sprint, the gray bar represents total estimated work, and the green bar shows total completed work. Note that the velocity chart doesn't show the length of a sprint, just how many points were completed during the sprint. Below the chart are summary totals for each sprint. To get more information about an individual sprint, click the link to view a sprint report. From the sprint report, you can view details about individual issues by clicking the issue links. Now, let's take a quick look at how to access reports on both cloud and server versions of JIRA. To access reports on the server version of JIRA, navigate to your desired project, select Reports from the left taskbar, then select the desired report from the Agile Reports display. If you're already viewing a report, you can select a different report from the Switch Report dropdown. To access reports on the cloud version of JIRA, navigate to your desired project, select Reports from the left taskbar, then select the desired report from the Agile Reports display. Alternatively, you can select a report from the report list in the left taskbar. For more details about velocity charts and other JIRA reports, please refer to the JIRA documentation. Also, you can enroll in the JIRA Reporting and Dashboards On Demand course from Atlassian University.